If you're interested in changing your gender, then you are considered a transgender person. That means you are either biologically a man who identifies as a woman or a biologically born woman who self-identifies as a man. Some transgender people have expressed feeling uncomfortable with their biological body. For example, a biological woman wishing she didn't have breasts. Reading and hearing about the experience of transgender people might connect with you or help you understand your own internal feelings. Some transgender people have felt like they were transgender as far back as they can remember. Others started identifying as transgender later in life. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. An, an, an intimate, uh, small session today with, with me, your favorite guy, the best guy ever, and Mumkey Jones. Hey, finally an episode where I can actually say I respect all of the cast members of the podcast. I wouldn't go that far myself. And also, Endless <laughs> oh, Jess <no>. is here. <laughs> the only episode where I can say I respect one member of the podcast <laughs> congratulations nate you did it i i did it guys i did it uh well and that's it everybody that's it just the three of us today everybody else is off doing more important things and where we're left uh you know in the trenches to uh to to to, to carry the sinking ship as far as we can uh and i was gonna uh, say so we're the three today. amigos mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. based on this topic we might be the three amigas Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. In impressive. You're and welcome. and if, if you can tell from that extremely cryptic hint, we're talking about <laughs> gender swapping today. Whoa. Gender right. swapping. Um, um, you can only refer to me as my new name on this episode mm -hmm. Estrogen Jess. So oh, you <laughs> like me. Good. Good. Uh, okay, I'm, I'll be um, mm -hmm. uh, Mumket, I think is what we decided. Yep, that's a good one. And I'm going to be um, best gal ever, yeah. which is short for best gal Godot ever, because I identify <laughs> as killing two Palestinian children in the Israeli Defense Force. Yes. There you go. The one true meme has returned. The yeah. only, good the only meme funny ever. joke from that overly long, terrible Marvel DC podcast. Yeah, but it, that, that one really hit. That one really fucking yeah. hit. Munchie um, did it again. Okay, well, let's fucking get into it, I guess. Speak, By the way, I Speaking checked... of uh, Mumcat, uh, mm -hmm. remember when the Alvin and the Chipmunks, they had the Chimpettes, and they uh, were like... Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're Just going. Just the exasperated <laughs> side when I the Chimpettes. That's all That's what I you need know, to say. You struck That's, gold. All, that's <laughs> all you need to say about the Chimpettes. The only well, good thing about that film franchise was that Jason Lee played the main guy, and then in the second movie, he was, like, in the hospital the whole time. They wrote him out of the movie, but not for the first <laughs> ten minutes, and I don't know why they made that choice. Maybe they just only had so much money to pay for his time. Yeah, because Jason so they, Lee is so fucking yeah, yeah. expensive. The guy from My Name is Earl is a hot <laughs> ticket in Hollywood. No wonder they called it the squeakquel, because without Jason Lee, it's just a tepid little fart of a movie. <laughs> yeah. Squeaking through the butt cheeks of Hollywood's tight sphincter. Too tight to, to, to dish out that money for Jason Lee. So, you know, this so this topic is so shit that uh <laughs> I I could find I could find nothing related to it on Urban Dictionary. Like I, I tried searching like gender bending, gender swapping. Let's just read gender, Isn't right? Rule, we'll say gender. Rule sixty three is a, the internet rule about gender swapping. Uh, that's true. That's true. Okay, we can let's see. The, okay, rule 63. All right, that, that works. Um, rule 63 is a rule of the internet that reads as follows. For any given male character, there is a female version of that character. This rule's exceptions are only in... Oh, this is fucking... Who, who gives a shit? But whatever. Only in the instance that A, the male character is already so androgynous that a female version would be basically the same, or B, the female version hasn't been drawn yet. Well, what? what why would you even write that? Just fucking... This is shit. This is terrible. This is... This is absolute garbage. Um, hey, so uh, the the chimpettes, the those Alvin and the Chipmunk girls, <laughs> can we not? They remind me. Uh, <laughs> well, what I, what they remind me of is how incredibly hot female versions <laughs> of characters that you already like are. <laughs> That's you know? what I'm reminds sure you, guys you of agree. that. Yeah, because yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll buy this that's, premise. That's Keep true. Going. Wouldn't you say? I mean, like uh, when I see when I see a female versions of Kamina, for example, I find that extremely arousing. Oh yeah, it's like, like all the, the girl same from things. that uh, the cosplay girl who yelled at you. That's the hottest Kamina I've ever seen. She's she's great, dude. Ten out yeah, of ten. Great. She, uh, it's it's because you got all the great things about a character, but then you also can sex them now. Yeah. You know, which is which is just great. Which is just great. And it works the other way as well, I, I guess. Like, if you've got a cool female character, 
that's nice. But when you gender swap them, like you can project all the things you like about them from their, I guess, female version. And then also now they can be, they can drive well. Now they can do, <laughs> got them. I've yes. got to say, when me and oh. Mage did our uh-huh. N- Naru cast, she drew a picture mm-hmm. of me as Naruto and her as Sasuke. So we have this female right. Sasuke. It's, it's pretty much Sasuke with purple hair and tits. And like you're mm-hmm. saying with the with mm-hmm. the chimpettes, I, I jerked off to that picture Mage drew probably 30 times in one day. It's just It makes the character <laughs> so much hotter. I agree. Well, okay. That's, <laughs> that's the one. podcast, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be That's collecting one... our fat three-person check now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. That's one facet thoroughly explored. This is what happens when you got three people. Okay, but here we go. There's another facet, and it's the the personally gender swapping thing, right? So there's there's wanting to be the little girl, as it were. The Digi and, Bro uh, complex. Yeah. Yeah. Which can and I say why we... Digi's not on this episode? Because I imagine a lot of people in the comments are angry that of this topic of all mm-hmm. topics, Digi should be here. Yeah, that's true. Here's Go what happened. It. So we said, hey, did you, do you want to come on? He said, fuck you guys. Fuck the PCP. I'm too big for that shit. I have 300,000 <laughs> subs now. I'm. You're all beneath me. And that's why did he's he not Did he cross on. that? Did, did he get the 300,000 now? Uh, by the time right this is out, he probably will. Okay. Well, Greg, c- congrats, did you? Congrats. Um, <laughs> the also, we hope applause. to vote. I hope Davu would be here too, but he's he's busy as well. So yeah. uh, this is what you're left with, folks. Uh, enjoy the, the table scraps of the PCP. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I I want to be the little girl, uh, and by that I mean I would definitely. I see a lot of perks. There's obviously some negatives, but I see a lot of perks in being uh, a, a, a sexy girl. You know, um, I do have friends though. Because I, if I was a girl, you'd know I'd be a 10 out of 10 goddess. Of course. It's, 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 a, it's a given. It's yeah. a given. It's just a mirror but, image of yourself, but with tits. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so there's a lot of good things about that. I guess I'm making I'm, make, I'm taking this literally. I'm taking this like real, like if I was just suddenly a girl. In society, there's a lot of good things about being a girl, but there's definitely some negatives. For example. Wait, I've got a, wait, time out. There's negatives yeah. to being a girl in society? <laughs> I don't you think might that be holds surprised. any water, Nate. Name <laughs> you, one. Well, I, I've got a friend uh, who, who... Okay, too like, far. Again, you're already you're saying crazy things. <laughs> I know. I've, I've got a friend who's super hot, and she works in, like, customer service. And just, like, she was just telling me the other day, all the time, people will come up to her, like, you know, men, and they will, you know, want to have sex with her. So what that manifests <laughs> what a as... a tragic life she must live. Being well, attractive. It, well, imagine if all the dregs of society kept coming up to you with cl- the clear intention of wanting to fuck you, and it's like, mm, uh, yeah, you okay, know, cool, appreciate the compliment, but not to not to get off on a on a gender dynamics tangent here. I think it's unavoidable, but, but um, I mean, what, what, what the hell else are we gonna talk about on this yeah. on this shitty fucking topic? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I get that complaint of mm-hmm. of like why women would feel objectified and feel shitty if like just. Like you said, the dregs of society are always mm-hmm. wanting to fuck them. But, mm-hmm. like, from my point of view, it's the same thing, except the dregs of society always want to fight me. So what's uh, really worse? Uh, well, like people's dads. <laughs> yeah, like people's dads. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's true. That's true. Can Any we talk about that going- for a second, that Jess is trying to fight every dad on Earth? Yeah, I'm making that a um, I'm gonna make it a, a patron reward tier for a certain amount. Yeah. I will fight your dad. I will. I'll, <laughs> I'll fly out. Like, we'll have a real fight. It'll oh, be wow. on YouTube and everything. You're gonna go to them. They don't even come to you. Yeah, it's you gonna have to. It's gonna have to be out. a high reward tier because I'm gonna need a lot of money to to pay yeah. for these endeavors. But it'll be worth it if I can. If I can go down in history as like the YouTube guy who fights dads, mm-hmm. that's a good <laughs> legacy. This that is great. F- Munch, Munchie oh. goes out and captures them, you know, sets them oh, up, good. and then you fight them, you know? He sex them <laughs> yes. up, and you knock them down. There you go. I think this is the first feature film in the PCP cinematic universe is that <laughs> Ooh, instead yeah. of Rocky, it's called Daddy, where Jess just beats up people's dads. <laughs> endless endless Jess versus the dads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I, instead I, I did want to Instead of the kid catcher say- in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Munchie is the dad catcher. 
Of course. <laughs> Is that a reference uh, that's by lost the way, on this generation? I, I did want to say about that, about what you're saying here, about the the being annoyed by the dregs, of society, like being objectified. I mean, I'm sure that's annoying for women to, to be objectified by, by people. But, but for, even putting that aside, even if you're not objectified, I'm just saying just the fact that people ever come up to you at all and, uh, you know, it try to talk to you like people are boring and they're yeah. gay. Yeah. And I don't want to hear from them oh, ever. It's, it's so the worst. just on that level, just on that level, like, y- yeah, you know, th- there are definitely advantages to being women. But that's definitely something that would annoy me. Because as a man, no one in my life has ever approached me with any proposition of any kind. Nobody gives a fuck about me. No, uh, which as is a man, a pu- I just yeah. I constantly get approached with hostility and, and, <laughs> well, like, yeah. and mockery all day everywhere I go. Like, women complain about, like, catcalling, like, hey... You're hot and you're pretty and, and I want to fuck you. Like, yeah, that would be annoying. But, mm. like, I walk outside every day and I also get people catcalling, except they're saying, like, hey, faggot, like, out of a moving car. And, like, <laughs> fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Screw you. And it's like, that's way worse. Well, when you walk around in your, your brony T-shirts, Jesse, a little bit of that is to be expected. You know? I do not. No, I do not dress provocatively. I dress as like I, I try to like hide my, my, my strength as much as I can. I wear like overcoats like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Like I hide yeah. my fucking shell when I go out. Wearing, <laughs> wearing <laughs> and a turtle mask. <laughs> That's why, dude. They're, I like that uh, Nate is suggesting they, that Jess was asking for it based on what he was wearing. That's ex- that's exactly right. Hey, exactly how could right. you? Fucking fascist. Nate is that guy who's driving by in like cars with open windows <laughs> going, Hey, fuck it, fuck you! I, I got that horn that's... Oh my god. It, it, it annoys me so much. It happens to me every time I go out. It's like, I, I really do dress like as normal mm-hmm. as possible to try and avoid people looking at me. Like, mm-hmm. I'll wear, like, a baseball cap and, like, just a regular T-shirt and jeans, and guys will, like, yell shit out. And, like, I get so mad when people fuck with me that, like, I, I will, <laughs> I'll fucking go out into the middle of the street as they're, like, peeling away and, like, like call Drogo, like, stomping around, like, The fucking yeah. most fucking, the fucking shocking! I'll fucking fight all of you! I'm, like, fighting <laughs> random cars that have nothing to do with it. I'm jumping in, <laughs> I'm jumping through other people's windows and, like, driving after them, and a whole chase breaks out. It's uh, it's an adventure every time. You know, that's interesting, Jesse. But I have to say, I have never been in any kind of serious fight in my life, nor have I ever even been close to that level. So I just wonder, do you, do you think it might have something to do with your aura or perhaps just the place you live? Perhaps that place is just more hostile than, uh, than the world that I grew up in and, and exist in now. I think I'm just too... I'm just too handsome and strong. People hate me for it. The, the world you know- can't handle this. <laughs> You know, there was, uh, in, in part six of JoJo, there was a particular stand called Survivor, and its unique ability was really shit. Nobody liked it, but its power was that it made everyone around it a little more on edge, just a little more pissed off than they were normally. And what happened was, like, during the part where, like, that thing was going around, like, everyone in this entire jail where the thing took place, they all started fighting because they were all just a little bit pissed off, and then someone did something, and then they all have a giant, massive fight, and it's a huge riot inside the jail. And, uh... I think that might be you, my friend. You might have uh, you might have some sort of superpower here. <laughs> yeah, I, I might. I definitely do. Um, I, I <laughs> definitely get people to a certain point somehow without <laughs> without doing anything. Have you guys ever done any sort of drive-by cat call, either to a man or a woman, just yelling something at somebody on the street as you drive by? Hmm. No, I've never done anything like that, though. I have done, you know, numerous like more like approaches you know and shit in my in my heyday i was well i I don't mean like hitting on somebody like the example i wanted to give was that uh, back when Mm -hmm. i lived in iowa my friend biggs uh the only thing he would ever yell at people as we drove by them (laughs) uh, they'll be walking on the sidewalk and he'll just yell get a car (laughs) and that's it just do it over and over again to these lowly creatures just to people uh... we don't know if they don't have a car (laughs) they're just fucking walking (laughs) so that's what i I guess he strongly disapproves of this. Well, uh, I've never, I've never catcalled anybody. I don't think. I feel ashamed. I should have catcalled somebody by now. I should do it. I should go out and say, "Hey, baby, give me that pussy." You know, <laughs> yeah. one of those. Does it work? One of those. Yeah. I mean, of course. Why do men keep doing it? Because it yeah. gets results, right? Clearly I would assume works. that's the case. No, what, what you need is a wingman. So you got to drive, and you got to like be holding action giraffe out the other window, like, "Hey, yes. baby, I got AIDS, I got AIDS," <laughs> but this guy doesn't over here, and then he points to you. <laughs> I look like a hero by comparison. I yeah. look like a real catch. 
That's true. That's true. Or just a guy to um, just to like uh, you know be the guy in the dark alley where the a lady turns down and like uh, she she's like he's like hey baby I'm gonna I'm gonna get in that I'm gonna get in that now and she's like no uh, please and then <laughs> I come in and I beat up my friend and then I take her home and we do the sex. That's uh, that's a pretty <laughs> Wait, solid you plan. Wanna be like an alley man. <laughs> My, yeah, I uh, want to be an alley my, uh, man. <laughs> my my goal in life <laughs> is to be like the mugger at the beginning of the superhero movie who gets beat up by the hero first. Yes. Before he has to fight the supervillain. Oh my god, you know what? That reminds me of this is this is sort of relevant to what we're talking about. Uh the what are the greatest moments in all of anime of all time is from um it's called like Something something Nietzsche Joe. It's not it's not Nietzsche Joe. It's like the it's the high school boy version. It's got like a longer name. It's like boys something Nietzsche Joe. Uh, everyday lives of high school boys. So there's a moment in that uh, in that fucking uh, manga, or sorry anime where so like there's just like a bunch of a, a bunch of dudes like a bunch of Japanese high school kids are just hanging out in an alley and they're they're just like they're like talking about like homework or like science like they're being like responsible mature. Uh, uh, students, and then all of a sudden, like a girl walks in, right? Like a girl walks in, and she sees these three like slightly rough-looking dudes hanging out at this alley, and she's just like, she steps down, she doesn't notice them, she sees them, and she's like, oh, uh, 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 and they're just like, what, what are you doing here? And like, they're not, they're just like, hey, what, what's going on? Like, what, what's up? Um, but she's like spooked just because she didn't know what she was walking into. Then all of a sudden, like another dude walks into the alley like and sees the situation he sees like this girl spooked by three guys and she said and he says to it like he, he he assesses the situation and he's just like i know what i have to fucking do he steps up and he's like hey you three ruffians quit hassling this lady and all of a sudden these three guys who were just like super willing they were just gonna like help her get directions or like guide her out of there or whatever they just look at each other and they know what they have to do they're like Hey, man, fuck off. We were going to play with that bitch. She was going to be ours. We were just going to have a little fun. And they all begin aggressing towards the guy. And so the guy is just like, yes, this is my chance. He he proceeds to beat them up as they allow him to beat them all up. And they're just like, yes, this is what we have to do. They allow themselves to be beaten up. And then the lady is like, oh, my God, thank you so much for saving me from those ruffians. As the dude, like, escorts her out, like, ha-ha, I'm the fucking hero. And the guys just get up. They nod at each other. They're like, yep, we did it, man. We well, really, we were... We were what society needed today. That's really <laughs> inspirational. I want to do that, isn't it? I want to set up fucking a fucking heroes, like a like a like a, a slipping Jimmy wingman scam, <laughs> where I yeah. fucking pretend to be a rape boy. And if the plan goes <laughs> wrong, I just accidentally end up raping the girl because the guy didn't <laughs> get there a, in time. <laughs> well, well, where were you? Because you gotta commit. You gotta you made commit. Me a, you made me a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've talked about how great it is to commit rape, but yeah. let's talk a little bit more about how great it is to be raped. Well, we, we need uh, to backtrack, Nate, because we were listing mm -hmm. all the negatives of being a woman and the things you would face, and we, we right, got lost right. in the, the catcalling world. So oh, what are the true. other yeah. disadvantages? Um, okay, well, there's a real – okay, this is a real thing, right? Women is are it rape? Because we just talked about that. Well, uh, not really, but, like, oh. women are – objectively on the whole not every single person but they're generally weaker than men so when you got a woman walking outside alone and like you're just doing whatever you know you're just walking home or whatever um and i i feel the same fear whenever i'm walking out alone i'm like oh god everyone's gonna fucking murder me but when you see just like <laughs> any person you know there is a pretty good chance that they are stronger than you and could overpower you there's at least a 50 percent chance because you know men or whatever um and if you know it's a man, then you know this guy could be you. So, like, in that situation, if you're, like, unprepared, you don't have anything to defend yourself with, like, that person could push your shit in if they wanted to. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't trust anyone ever. Whenever I see no. a cop, I assume he wants to kill me. I assume he wants me dead. Oh, yeah. So Cops I will just do whatever the fuck he... Yeah. Are, are and all serial killers. Like, just, just as a cop has, like, infinitely or, you know, a, a, a more than enough advantage over me to kill me if he wants to because he has a gun. Like, to a woman, most men just have that advantage because they generally are just stronger. They, they could take you down if they felt like it. So just, like, it's a little bit spooky, you know, being a woman out there. Just just being out there doing whatever you want. So, like, I, I, my, my female friends will legitimately tell me, like, and I've had some people I know have had some bad series with this shit. Uh, they'll just be out walking. And they're scared because they don't want to die. They don't want to get raped. They don't want bad shit to happen to them. So just on a physical level, you know, that's a disadvantage. Not to mention the fact that, of course, women have 
a vagina, which is a desired thing by most men. So yeah. like it's, it's like a guy walking around has nothing to offer. Like there's no reason Wait, to like beat women him up. have those. I've been looking <laughs> in the wrong places. <laughs> Women, yeah. So, like, it's like women, like, have a diamond whenever they're walking outside that every man really wants. <laughs> and, like, if a guy is pushed over the edge, he, he might go for it. You know, it just, just – and I'm not trying to say men are demons or anything. It's just, like, I don't trust anyone. I have no faith that anyone will do the right thing at any point. Um, and so I totally feel why women are spooked by this shit. All right, Nate. I got the ultimate yeah. solution for this problem. If we become okay. women, here's what we should do. Mm -hmm. It's a new invention. You might have heard of it. It's mm -hmm. called the gun. You get one of these bad boys, and you're stronger than anybody else because then you just shoot them. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's I, true. I like but... that you keep using the word spooked to describe <laughs> women who are about to get raped. Like a, well, ra like a, a rapist jumps out, and they, 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 they just do the, uh, they do the standing in place <laughs> Scooby-Doo run before they fucking like, hold off. You're oversimplifying the spectrum of spook right now because there's, <laughs> it's really a spectrum. It's really a spectrum. Jess, I got a question for you. Okay. We know you can beat up any dad on earth. And on the subject of female physicality, I want to know, who wins mm. in a fight? Endless Jess or Ronda Rousey? Uh, I'm going to have to say Endless Jess. Whoa, oh, bull fucking what? shit. I'm surprised. She What's your case there, dude? She fucking kill you. Bullshit. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, so I mean, sick I... of that fucking... That like it's true. That, that any woman what? in any sport could beat any regular man ever. It's all <laughs> bullshit. You take the, I, yeah. you take fucking you take fucking uh, the Black Widow from the Avengers and a regular uh -huh. fat guy off of from like a video <laughs> store, and the guy from the video store will win every time. I hate movies. I hate fucking this. This just people just wanking themselves off about strong women. It's fake. There's no such thing. <laughs> Fuck I mean, Ronda Rousey. Take... You can take the world's I'd most beat her up. <laughs> take the world's most honorable Bushido woman. You know she's got her katana. It has been folded twenty thousand times, so she's twenty <laughs> times stronger. Jesus and, Christ! And all I do is I say, hold. I I, I put on a two hundred and fifty pounds. I become a fat piece of shit. I say, hold my beer, uh, bitch. <laughs> and and then I've won. I have I have uh, defeated her. I have defeated her. Yes. Okay. You know mm -hmm. what pisses me off? Like if if, if like. If a guy did fight Ronda Rousey, mm -hmm. and he won, he'd get no credit. They just like dismiss it as beating a woman. But if he lost, that's true. He'd be even doubly mocked for it. Like, oh, you lost to a woman. So which is it? Is she on an equal playing field or not? Well, I mean, and she has a disadvantage. You know, there's a disadvantage. Nate, you have you listened for. to uh, Biggest Problem in the Universe? I know Jesse uh, has. Only seven episodes. I mean, to finish it. it. it was was there one of the episodes, or was this a different podcast where they talked about like a trans trans woman? So like a guy who becomes oh, a woman was in yeah, mixed yeah. martial arts, and he like won a tournament, and how that was bullshit. So that's is that kind of the same thing? Yes, yeah, it's, it's related. It's like the yeah. the practical way to achieve this. Okay, so, so yeah, the, thing the about practical that is... way to beat up women and still get credit for it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Going to think of it, why am I fighting Ronda Rousey? The deal was that I would fight Ronda Rousey's decrepit father. That was my thing <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Frank, uh, you probably have a bigger trouble with uh, her father. Jess versus you know? it's... Frank Rousey. <laughs> Well, okay, so on the that that topic, because I, I always thought that was interesting. So, okay, so like, there's, what what is in fact the difference between men and women physically, right? So there's there's a bunch of stuff. There's like hormones, uh, the presence of testosterone, more which like is the whole building muscle moans. Oh, you you nailed it, dude! You nailed it. <laughs> I, there's like bone density differences. Obviously, there's like uh, there's anatomical differences, right? They're, they're, that's real shit. That's real shit. So so right now we know that we're that we're not looking at the same thing. Um, so if a man wants to compete with women and say that it's totally even, like he's got no advantages, like the, what we what we would say now, what they do now is like they have him go on like hormone therapy, right, to to even the playing field. So they they have him take estrogen and shit and and. Don't take testosterone. Are I guess maybe cut up his balls. The, the transgender AMA fighter or MMA fighter? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't about. think like, he I'm... goes on a hormones to even the playing field. It's because he wants no? to get a woman's body. It doesn't have to do with his job. Well, but if we were trying to make it fair, you would have to do something to address the real differences. Just if we wanted to make it fair, birth. we'd say you don't get to do this because you were born a man. Okay, but uh, there might be a way. Go fight in the men's league. Eh. 
Yeah. I, I mean, it's okay. So at this point, we got a couple categories now. So you've got men who are just men. You got women who are just women. But then there's, de- I mean, there's some clear gray area here. If you're going to be transitioning or whatever, there's there's got to be a way to account for that difference. Well, like, what it is, there should is, be a tranny league. Maybe. It, it, well, like it's, it's, it works like Pokemon. There's three stages. Mm-hmm. Like you go from like a man <laughs> into a trans woman. And then mm-hmm. with the help of a Thunderstone, you become just a woman. Yep. That makes sense. Why a thunderstone? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, would, would a moonstone make more sense? I think so. A moonstone. Well, if you're trying to become a man, uh, yeah, you I need the thunderstone to become a man so you can become Chad Thundercock. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> have you guys been seeing these memes, incidentally, recently that that have been poke that have been popping up of like uh, how like the virgin stands versus how the Chad stands or how they sit? Yeah, as it turns out, I'm a Chad virgin. The day. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I, I fucking love them. Chad is my hero. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> oh, we'll get into that later when we talk about if we were women. Oh yeah, that that's exciting. That's exciting. Um. I don't know. Uh, that's that's been addressed, I guess. Oh, it's it's crazy, man. I don't know. Uh, like we could talk about like so so if you're actually transitioning from a man to woman, IRL, uh, it's it's complex. You know, you would have to really restructure your whole fucking anatomy yeah. and like your bone structure, and you have to install a vagina, which I think they do now, at least to some degree. Yeah, they do. Um, but 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 uh, Caitlyn Jenner still is a penis. Just yeah. um. Just throwing that out there. What do you think about that, Monkey? Where does I that think put that's her the... that's none of your business. What Caitlyn um, Jenner? <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. Okay. Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say though, what is my business yeah. is what pronoun I'm forced to use for someone. That yeah. if they're gonna tell me I have to refer to someone some way, then it becomes my business what what they are forcing me to do. And um, I'm just is it insensitive to say like. You know, if you're going to make me say he or she or whatever, like, let's see some documentation. Let's see some proof that, uh, you know, I just don't like being forced to do something on the other person's word. Because yeah. I don't, as I've said, I, I'm consistent on this. I don't trust anyone. Uh, if you just look like a woman, if I saw Caitlyn Jenner on the street, would absolutely call her female because she looks that way. No problem with that at all. But if somebody who looks male comes up to me and just says, hey, call me she, call me whatever, then... I don't think it's crazy to say like, hmm, okay, uh, but why though? Like, what's 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 the situation here, dude? What am I what am I looking at here? What are we dealing with? Here's an example of this that happened to me recently. Okay. Uh, as we've discussed in the previous couple episodes of this show, there is a recent uh, the the tranny phantom massacre. That, right. The guy Randy Stare, who shot mm-hmm. up the thing, he wanted to join Ember's Ghost Squad, but Randy is or was transgender. So right, my right. friend Bedhead Burn, he loved him to death, but I think he, he made a tactical error on this. He wrote up a script about the 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 whole thing. And mm-hmm. I had to narrate it. And when we referred or when he referred to Randy in the script, he would use they them pronouns, which is very oh, confusing yeah. because we're talking about one person. So the comments were just it was a firestorm of who the fuck is they? <laughs> uh, and like why are you respecting the preferred pronouns? Of a of a mass shooter, like Ooh, why would you do that? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And I think a lot of okay. Now finish your point. Finish well, yeah. So like Bernie's Bernie said he wanted to do it professionally because he's making all these videos for his portfolio mm-hmm. so he can get into sure, college sure. and all this shit. But like in that case, fuck Randy Stare. Fuck their preferred pronouns. I don't care what you think you're. You think you're a fucking ghost. <laughs> I don't like, give a um, shit. Randy's it's like a guy. An ethical quandary, like um, yeah, like uh, how like it's our generation's crucible to decide like what bathrooms uh, trans people should use. <laughs> it's like yeah, our generation's yeah. crucible to decide should you respect the pronouns of a killer. You yeah. know what that reminds me of? Should you, like, not punch Nazis is another question on the table for our generation. That's a big <laughs> yeah. thing happening right now. Okay, but but that aside, you know, okay, just I think, like, any trans activist or whatever, any person in the know would probably argue that, like, okay, yes, this guy is uh, a bad person. You know, he could kill people. It's objectively wrong. Um, but, like, I, I think what they would say is, like, we should segregate uh, – 
uh, to use the inappropriate word. Separate but equal. <laughs> we should okay. We should separate like a person's like gender identity from any crimes they commit, and we shouldn't lump in like their their murderous tendency, mental illness shit with their uh, gender fluidity or confusion. Uh, that's probably the case they would make. What do you what do you think about that? I think. I'm that still thinking for... about Ronda Rousey and how much it annoys <laughs> yeah. me when she fucking when she comes on like a talk show and like like Conan O'Brien or or whatever or like Jimmy Kimmel whatever like loser talk show host will, will like pretend to be Whoa. like afraid of her like oh Ronda Rousey's gonna beat me up and right, like right. come on was... Conan you're like six foot five what are you doing what are Dude, you all right I was I was joking for? before but Ronda Rousey would definitely beat your ass and would yeah. definitely beat most men's ass like oh, I was just kidding course. before she would easily I don't devastate. Believe any you. Of us. I don't care she's, what anyone she's says. She's a trained killer. She's a trained killer, dude. She will fucking kill I'm you. I'm a self-trained killer. <laughs> I've been I shadow guess. boxing for 20 years like fucking old boy. What the hell is shadow boxing? I've been is killing on the streets. Training? Of fucking... <laughs> Probably. Like, hey, Jess, it, I get that you're strong, but she, it, has, if, she knows how worked, to fight. If it works for old boy, it works for me. That's how I approach every situation <laughs> in life. <laughs> you don't get a hammer in hey, this fight. Hey, you, you know... On, on this issue of gender identity, I did want to say, though, that... Um, look, look, I'm totally... if I can't beat Ronda Rousey, yeah. then at okay. least Conan O'Brien could definitely beat her. Conan O'Brien's, like, ten he's, feet tall. He's, he's, he's like Irish. Boy. He's got that, like... He's a little nerd. He's got that Irish, that Irish boxing stance from the 1920s. <laughs> yeah, he does. You can't does. step to that in an MMA <laughs> ring. They outlawed that from MMA because it was too powerful. <laughs> Look, he is an untrained uh, twink <laughs> fuckboy. He would get his shit pushed in no, instantly. Please. Nobody on earth is stronger than Conan O'Brien. He's my <laughs> he's god and tallest. my deity. We're, 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 working on, uh, we're working on Invader Zim logic right now. Like, the tallest man <laughs> yeah. is the most powerful and is, is, has dominion over all he can lay his eyes on. Wait, so um, Jeff would beat all of our asses then? I, I, yeah, is that why I, we kicked him out of PCP? Because so. he can kill all of us. <laughs> that he was too to much of a threat. He was too much of a he threat. He was too strong. <laughs> okay, okay, but I was going to say about here, gender Nate, identity. Can we get serious and talk about how we would fuck all the guys in high school if we were girls? Uh, yes, but in, in one sec, I just want to say okay. about this because I really want to talk about that. We will get. We will certainly get there. Yeah. I, I've been joking about this a lot, but I, I do actually feel like okay. So gender is is actually pretty crazy, and there's legitimately people out there who who feel weird about it. Um, I definitely think that like it's kind of a meme that people who wouldn't necessarily be into it uh, are just kind of are just like yeah, that sounds fun. Let's get into it. I mean, I have no idea how rampant that is, but I'm sure that's that's there to some degree. Just like just like any you know trend or craze would be. Um, but. Uh, but on the just just to to address this, I I feel like it's a little bit of a of a it's problematic. It's a little bit problematic oh that in boy. English, I know we we don't have any real good way of addressing people that don't adhere to the binary of male or female. So I'm just saying, like I I, I feel for people, you know, the fact that we have men and female bathrooms that you know that kind of sucks for people who 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 are floating around somewhere in the middle. So uh, I have legitimate sympathy for them. But uh, on a, but on a, but here's where here's my red pilling comes in. On a practical level, these people are the vast minority. Yeah. How much effort are we really gonna put in to worrying about their specific concern? And I know in a perfect world we would just bam put like an extra bathroom for everybody for everyone fucking gender identity there is have an extra bathroom just for them so that everybody feels safe and at home. But practically. Can we really be doing this, guys? Can we really be fucking around with this? I, well, I think the I solution know. is that we don't need more bathrooms. We need one mm -hmm. bathroom for everyone. It's fucking that retarded that we have two that bathrooms in the first place. You know, you're absolutely 100% right on that. Why I mean, think, I think about, about it. it. When you were three years old, your mom would take you into the women's bathroom because you're too fucking young to go by yourself. When so I was a young boy, my mother yeah. took me what into the me women's into bathroom, the bathroom to take a mondo shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I mean, I didn't get uh, traumatized yeah, walking it, man. into the women's bathroom when I was three. So, I, I mean, realistically, what's yeah, the worst that can happen? Like everyone in the world, you live in a house with women, and you usually have one bathroom, and nobody I, gets raped usually. 
I did, why the <laughs> fuck didn't I think of that before? The problem, the problem isn't that we don't have enough individual bathrooms to segregate everyone into. The problem is that we segregate them at all right now. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, exactly. You know, they sh we should have co-ed everything. It worked in Starship Troopers. It you did, know, man. That's my other Got thing. Got my first little that's, baby boner to Starship that, that's Troopers, my, that's so my we know other it's philosophy good. in life. If it, if it doesn't work like it did in Old Boy, then it must work like it did in <laughs> Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God we just solved this massive issue for yeah. everyone. I, I mean, uh, honestly, if I'm going to rape somebody, it's not when they're taking a shit. It's probably when they're not <laughs> taking a shit. You know, I, I like the rape after the shit because, like, the, the passageway <laughs> that I like to use has already been stretched a good way. So, you know, that works for me. That works for me. Wait, if, not um, if I'm going to rape somebody. Liquid diarrhea every time they go to the bathroom? <laughs> There's stretching that's, involved? That's lube, dude. And that's what lubing it fuck? up just the way I like it. If I'm going to rape somebody, it's going to be jumping out in a monster mask in that Scooby-Doo hallway with all the doors <laughs> so that even if they try yeah. to fucking run away, they'll just come through the other door and I'll catch them. It's perfect. Yep. I've been studying those Scooby-Doo running in and out of doors <laughs> chase sequences my whole life. I have cracked the code. I've become the master of them, of these portals to different dimensions. And now I can catch anyone during them. <laughs> All right, Monkey, let's get into it. How much do you want to fuck our male uh, oh. uh, high school classmates? So here's Lead my, the problem. Charge. Lead here's the my charge. problem with Digibro's approach. He wants to become a six-year-old mm -hmm. girl and then fuck himself. Right, right. Wait, I, you know... I, I might not be as traditional as most, but even I'm thinking like, okay, Digi, you can do better than that. If I'm gonna become a girl, <laughs> I wanna uh -huh. be I wanna be fucking Yamada from Yamada's first time. I wanna be a, a hot, buxom, uh, blonde, fifteen year old high school girl, and I'm gonna fuck. Oh, I see. Every single boy in school. I'm gonna get the reputation of the cock sucking queen, my friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to fucking mm -hmm, co college mm -hmm. parties when I'm 15 or 16. I'm gonna fuck seniors in college. Fuck it. I wanna fuck every chat. I wanna know, cause uh, us as guys, we only get to feel sex from our point of view. Oh yeah, I'm, yep. I'm plunging my yep. dick into your puss. Whatever. But it mm -hmm. looks like she's enjoying that a lot more than I. You am. know, I've what always the, I've what? always thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah what does I, it feel I think like? it's better for them. Of course it is. Of I, course I think it, it is. definitely is if the guy is like at all paying attention to what the girl wants. Then yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to know what and, sex uh, feels like as a girl, and I need to abuse it by being one. At, at the very least, it's definitely a different experience, and I would absolutely love to experience it at some point. Yeah, you know? I, mean, I would think yeah. about totally it. If, if you woke up, I mean, regardless of what gender you are now, if you woke up tomorrow morning just as mm -hmm. the opposite gender, you yep. could be like the only person in history who gets the true experience of both. You cannot squander that opportunity. That This is for all of humanity to know this information. This is your That's responsibility right. to go out and fuck. That was my like, problem with your name. He wakes up and grabs his tits instead of rubbing that little clit bean all fucking day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I would definitely do that if I woke up in somebody else's body. Absolutely. Well, now, are we uh, talking about gender switching or body okay. switching? Because if you wake up body in, a, in yeah. a different girl's body and you start, you know, fiddling your diddle, is that rape? I, you know, I was just going to bring it down to be like, okay, guys, we got to talk about the whole respecting someone else's body. Okay, but yeah. first of all, how, if you wake up and just it's your body only female, then go hog wild, dude. Do whatever Hell the fuck yeah. you want to do. But Hell if, yeah. if you are in someone else's body and you know this, that raises some concerns. And I, I guess I would have to say, you, don't do it, man. I would have mm. to say don't do it. I don't think I could. I don't think I could resist. If if there's no way they're gonna find out, you better believe mm -hmm. I'm doing it because it's a victimless crime. That's true. Well, I mean that's that's entirely true. And and uh, I I don't hate victimless crimes are, are as you said victimless, so it's not really a problem, right? Yeah. But like the objective, if you're going for what's objectively the most moral situation, I would have to say like really beyond like masturbation, like in, doing as little with that body as possible is like the objectively most moral thing you can do because it's not yours to use really it's not well, like i mean like what are you gonna do lay there and poop your pants if you're in someone's <laughs> well, yeah, body yeah. you're gonna have to see their pussy eventually you're going to have yeah. to you're gonna have to take care of it you're yeah, gonna you, that's true. you know what you ever if you wake up in a woman's body um so some other woman you wake up in her body you have a responsibility to play with your pussy first thing because you've got to figure out like where the tampon goes you got to figure out like how to wipe it when you yeah. pee you got to know these things okay you can't just get to the what? bathroom and not Girls know and spray and wipe? spray fluids what? everywhere I, I don't know maybe I, I assume they dab or at least or something i don't know I yeah, you don't want no idea dude <laughs> yeah Girls only have one hole. 
They have the cloaca. Or the, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm like a spider. <laughs> yeah, or like a chicken, right? They just have the one hole that spews out everything they don't need anymore, right? That's that's how I understand it. Uh, <laughs> These um, are the fuck, things man. we can learn when we become women. Yeah, because you know what? That that really is. Uh, on the other hand, pr- on a practical level, that really is something no one in history, like like every guy in the world, like every woman in the world, has to like take every guy's word for it. Like what what sex for him is like, what yeah. the orgasm is like. Like no one ever has crossed the boundary to experience the other side. For no. historical documentation, it would behoove you to get in there and do that shit, just so you can really say, like, okay, they're different in these ways, this is better in that <laughs> way. It would be better for everyone. It would be a public service. I like that That's Nate's taking a, a very scientific discovery approach, and I just want to fucking flick yeah. my bean. <laughs> I, I, I always got to come back to, the, to what's objectively right or true. Because that's the way I like to operate. Well, well you know, if, if Nate's taking the the scientific approach and uh, uh-huh. and Monkey's taking the base animal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> physiology approach, then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the emotional approach, the spiritual uh-huh. approach, because mm-hmm. you know the, the we mentioned the movie Your Name recently uh, a couple minutes ago, which you know I, I I did a review of that movie in in my hit series, The Plebe and the Weeb, which comes out every yeah, week. Everyone loves it. It's every never week. late. Yep. Um, <laughs> Hold on. The most consistent show on the internet, they call it. Um, not my words, it's everyone else's words. Um, consistent in quality, maybe not upload schedule. Yeah. Every single week, you know, uh, every twice a week, <laughs> mo- Monday and Wednesday, every week, rain or shine. <laughs> um, you know. The the movie Your Name is like is it's like my dream scenario because like uh-huh. you know, oh, like no. the the guy wakes up in the girl's body the girl wakes up in the guy's body they wake up in each other's bodies and because mm-hmm. of it they become lifelong friends they become yeah. they, they form yeah. a genuine bond they learn about each other and and and, and it's just an unbreakable uh, a union of love of love and friendship yeah. and camaraderie and that's they can't beautiful even thing. remember their names well don't they, they remember the other shit though whatever yeah it they, works out. I, it I, works out. I think they figure it out at the end I don't really remember remember yeah well <laughs> they just like find each other we don't know if they become friends all we know is he stopped her oh, village from getting killed by a meteor you can, you can see Dude, everything you need to know from another, the look they share at the end when you've you can, been in another know. person's body you've been taking those poops you've been taking yeah. those peas <laughs> that's a bond for life nothing can break <laughs> that uh, I get my body back and like, dude, you wore this asshole out with all that pooping. Come on, <laughs> save some for me, my dude. Save some for me. Um, you know what? I, I like that approach, Jesse. What we really got here, we've got, we've really got a triforce of approaches here. We've got me, the the triforce of wisdom, Monkey, the triforce of courage, and Jesse with the triforce of power for sure. <laughs> yeah, just, just, yeah. just feeling that shit out. Yeah. I, Nate and Jess, I really, if we can switch topics real quick, I want to okay. hear your day in the life from, from wake up to go to bed if you yeah. are a girl and you're, like, a teenager. <sighs> okay, How let me many go. cocks do you suck in that day? Well, okay. I, hmm. do, I know, do we know that it's only for one day? No, no. Like, this, you're a girl now, so what's the oh, daily? Oh, I'm just a girl. The typical oh, okay. day in the life. But we should okay. no. We should also do like you're only a girl for one day. What do you do with it? That'd be probably better. Because like if I was a girl for one day, then you know I'm slutting it up as much oh, as possible. Hell yeah! Of course, without a doubt, without a doubt. Well, you know, I really have to wonder. I have to ask because this is a variable that to me matters quite a bit in this situation. Am I waking up like in a random girl's body, or am I waking up in the body of yeah. a girl <laughs> that I personally know? It's no. It's gonna be like a girl version of you. Oh, we're it's doing just real sexy. I'm just, I'm yeah, just okay. a girl now. Yeah. You got carte well, blanche to do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> well, first thing I do is, is I'm figuring out, you know, how the clam works. You know, I'm getting down there yeah. with, a, with a, with a fucking, with a, with a microscope <laughs> and a fucking like, a magnifying glass. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going, you know, how do I work this thing? How do I make a profit off of this thing? And then mm-hmm, I, and then I mm-hmm. go out into the world. And then I and then I, I I assume I just go out into the front lawn and go, hey world, I've got a vagina. And then I just get money and fame and attention and and, and yeah, love. That's just how it works. Pretty sure. That upon me for the rest of the day. Your YouTube channel will have like an extra hundred thousand subs. In oh my god, that's oh. the first thing I do. I'd make a fucking vlog with my tits out. Holy shit, dude! I'd yeah, be you know set what you for do? life. You know what you do? You make a men's rights channel as a woman. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah! That's how you fucking yes! win the game. That yep, Patreon that's the is going to be $3,000 in the first mm-hmm, day. Mm-hmm. Shoe just, on head, baby. Just, that's just right. spend 
the entire day making nothing but like low top, uh, low cut top vlogs, and then set yeah. them to come out on your YouTube channel like every couple of days for the rest of time, and then you can profit <laughs> off that one gender swap day for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's smart. That's thinking. That's thinking. And also, you can finger your pussy between videos. Yeah, yeah. and you butthole too. I mean, you can do that as a guy, <laughs> but I mean that's that totally right gay. <laughs> nah, but that's that's gay, dude. <laughs> totally gay. <laughs> All right, so we can all agree it's not gay to get fucked if you're a girl, but what about kissing? Would you kiss a guy if you're Ooh, a girl? Mm. I well, would absolutely uh, not. No I way. mean, okay, well, the thing about, like, okay, so the thing about, like, female, like, sex in general is a lot, a lot of the gratification comes from pleasing the other person, right? So, like, if you're kissing the other person, or if you're, like, let's, let's you're giving a guy a bloge, you know, you're giving some bloge, like, what... What is enjoyable about that experience that a lot of women, you know, like? Because a lot of women legitimately do enjoy doing that. It's that they're making the other person feel good. So, like, for, for, for us in this situation, that's us. Like, a guy who's now become a girl. Like, what we're getting into right now is pleasing a guy, which is Don't gay. Care. That's gay. Okay, well. Super gay. Um, I just want to get my pussy I, fucked. I, I, I don't care if he feels good. Okay, well, in that case, yeah. I mean, in that case, it's 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 whatever. In terms of kissing, though, you know, you probably gotta. It's, that's the thing that you do to ease into it, you know, because like you can't, you really, you really cannot just come up to a guy and say, "I want to fuck," because every guy will assume that you have an ulterior motive, or that you got something going on with you, like you're a weirdo, you got STDs, something's fucked up with you. You gotta, you gotta pretend like you like are into it for some bigger reason, which is true of men go approaching say, women hey, too. I'm actually a guy. I'm in a woman's body. This is for science. We have to do this right now. And he'll be like, "My God." If it's for science, he'll be into this, it. This will be, be who the human race. We have to do this. That's yeah. a better case than just saying I just want to fuck because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Guys listening at home, if you ever wake up as a woman and you want to fuck, go to Nate and just say it's for science and you'll be down. <laughs> yeah, say it's for I would, Starfleet. I would definitely <laughs> do that. I would without a doubt do it. If I knew that shit was true, of course. Of course. Here's my problem down. with kissing a guy. If you mm -hmm. close your eyes, you could probably pretend it's a girl. But if they got any facial hair, I don't want that itchy shit rubbing up against me while we're kissing. No mm. way. You know, ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, There's oh, no yeah, way. I couldn't be situation. horny. My pussy would be as dry as the Sahara Desert. Okay, well, we got to address this shit. fact. We, we got to address this fact. Like, have we become attracted to men through the gender swap? Yeah. Or no. are we now? I, no, huh? I'm still me. I have my brain. I just so, have okay. a girl's body. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, how much of my brain has become girl? Like, no. Would yeah. I, even, I thought about this a lot. Would boys still be gross <laughs> to me? I assume they would. Well, okay, you know what? This is going to make me sound 100% gay, <laughs> but I have I've always had a sincere appreciation for the male form, you well, know? Sure. And I do think that if I was all of a sudden a girl, I could probably get myself into the headspace where if I find just like some really attractive guy, I would just enjoy being around him. Oh god, I'm fucking gay. I'm literally gay. I'm literally gay now. Uh uh <laughs> I mean, don't you guys have a list of yeah, it's male <laughs> celebrities who you would fuck right now as a guy? I do. If Jake Gyllenhaal came knocking on my door, I'd be gay with him for a night. Fuck it. Um, Ooh, yes, my list, is, some... my list is Paul F. Tompkins and nobody else. <laughs> I would, you uh, love those yeah. mustaches. Yeah. <laughs> mine's, mine's mostly anime characters. I'd fuck Rants. I'd definitely fuck Rants. He wouldn't want to fuck me, but I'd fuck him if he wanted to. <laughs> You know, I think if I were a girl, if I were in a, uh, like I had a girl body for a day, um, what I would do, what am I saying? you know, I would wait until like five minutes to midnight and then mm. I would challenge Ronda Rousey to a fight. <laughs> <laughs> and like she'd, <laughs> yeah, like, like she'd be beating me up because I'm a girl. Like she'd think she had it in the bag, but then midnight <laughs> yeah. strikes, I turn back into a strong boy and I'm like, yeah. now I've got you uh, where I want you. Ba Boom, oh, no. to coob, ba bang, bam, bam, ba bam. And then I'm punching her, I'm throwing her like over the cage wall. I'm so strong now. My man strength is out of control. And I just get, get and then I get the trophies. Puzzle. I get the trophies yep, and the yep, gold, the belts. It. I get all the, the MMA awards ever. Joe Rogan comes out and personally congratulates me. He puts his arm around me like, how'd you do it? And then in, in, in the second round, you turn into a guy and you really beat up that hack Ronda Rousey. And I'm like, that's right. That's right, Rogan. I did it. Praise me. Bow. You gotta get a Bow. Millennium Puzzle and pretend that you're Yugi transforming yeah. into Yugi, Yugi halfway through. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh man, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I've always, I've always had a fear though. 
about this. That what if you're what if you you know you just get lost track. You're just you're just orgasming over and over. You're getting <laughs> fucked by you know every Tom, Dick, and Harry up the block. My biggest so, fear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's that you're you transform back at midnight, right? But what if some dude is you know balls deep at that moment and you transform oh, shit. and you, oh now you got now you got a dick permanently fused up inside your body, which is definitely oh gay. You'd be like attached at the dick like Siamese That's bros. Right. Exactly. Yeah, isn't that the plot of the movie stuck on you? <laughs> I hope so. I, I'll put that on the two watch list. Brother. Is that true? How, how yeah, true is that? Dude, go watch that movie. Yeah, okay. with with Matt Damon and and Drillbit Taylor. The two <laughs> Was that Matt special, Damon in that movie? I don't know. <laughs> special so. guest appearance. Special guest appearance by Ron Rousey as the bitch who gets beat the fuck up by every <laughs> by the two man. by the two conjoined at the dick man. <laughs> She thought she was fighting a woman, but midnight struck, and the woman turned into two conjoined at the dick men. One played by Matt Damon, and the other played by the character Drillbit Taylor, not Owen Wilson. The, oh, the most shit, powerful Matt creature Damon. in the what world. What the fuck? Wow. I don't remember that being Matt Damon. That's crazy. I have to rewatch that shit. It actually has positive score on Rotten Tomatoes. What the hell? Does it really? Fantastic. Yeah, 61%. The other guy was Greg Kenier. Don't know who that is. I wonder what Bubble Boy has on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to look that up right now. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Bubble let us know. <laughs> Who could forget Bubble Boy? Fun fact, f- Bubble Boy is Zach Galifianakis' first movie. He plays the, the bus ticket Whoa. guy. That's fascinating. You yeah. know what I always loved? Um, in uh, in the movie Juno, uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck, Michael Sarah. The... Not Michael Sarah. It's Juno? Well, you know the... Neither of them. It's it's a bit character from the very beginning. Uh, you know the guy who played the the nerd. Fuck, I can't remember his name from um from the Office. The American, not McLovin. The the American Office. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, Ryan. Not Ryan. Who's the fucking weirdo creep? Dwight, of course. Dwight. Oh. The actor who plays Dwight is in the very beginning of that, and as uh, as uh, fucking Juno is getting her pregnancy results, she's just standing at the counter. I guess she just pissed on in the bathroom. Is looking at it. And he just says, "Your ego is prego," and um. <laughs> Okay. It was uh, the greatest line of all time. I it's always, pretty I funny. That. Pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Uh, uh, oh, oh my God. Would you get pregnant as the girl, as the See, girl? That's the fear. Because I want to slut it up for that day. But then, right. like, am I pregnant as a man the next day? Are my eggs fertilized? Oh, my God. Uh, what happens? God. I yeah I always have that fear of uh, spiders crawling in my ear at night and then oh, laying fuck. eggs and like filling my brain with eggs and I am the spider boy under their control from ever, forever forever. Uh, same situation, you know. Wait a minute. Terrified, terrifying. I think what would happen is if you got mm-hmm. impregnated as a woman and then turned back into a boy. I mean, you would now have the fertilized egg inside you, but it would oh, be God. like in your dick or ball sack region. Like oh. it would be in you, which means that you would be shooting out the fertilized egg. You could theoretically. Fuck a hole in the ground and grow children from soil. <laughs> That'd be. I was hoping for a more. Uh, uh, fuck. What's that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he gets pregnant? Daddy daycare? No, that's not the one. <laughs> <laughs> Junior. I think it was called Junior. <laughs> yeah. I believe it's called uh, Terminator Two. <laughs> in case you were wondering, Bubble Boy has a score of thirty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Not Sorry, bad. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> now, thirty um, percent doesn't mean that it's only thirty percent good. Thirty percent no. means that thirty percent of people gave it like ten out of ten, a hundred percent. Oh, really? He Is that ends how that the works? movie by falling down Niagara Falls yeah. in a bubble. Yeah, how I, can I, you not like it. I, I'm definitely good. all thirty of those percent. <laughs> 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 when I was a kid, I had three VHSs that me and my brother watched over and over again. We had Bubble Boy, we had Max Keeble's Big Move, and we had yeah. Rat Race. Two of the three we should not have been watching. Rat Race is a masterpiece. Rat Hell is a yeah. fucking masterpiece. We yeah. could do a whole episode on Rat Race. Any movie we that should. ends with an actual Smash Mouth concert is <laughs> a certified <laughs> fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Get fucked, John Cleese. Um <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Uh, Is it said right. that my only exposure for the majority of my life to John Cleese was fucking Rat Race and not like Monty Is Python? Is that true? Or anything? Oh no! I didn't know he was in sad. anything else. I thought he was just the guy from Rat Race. <laughs> <laughs> that is sad. Uh, fucking good Monty Python. Good, good movie. Good uh, uh, Holy Grail. Uh, upvoted. Top, top, top pick on Reddit. 
Uh, Shut okay. the fuck up. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Uh, I feel like we've exhausted this time. Are we done? Have we got any closing points to make um, about this whole gender swapping thing? So I guess if you wake up as a girl and you want to fuck, go yeah. fuck Nate and also carry a gun and uh, don't try to mm-hmm. fight Ronda Rousey. I think that's what we learned today. <laughs> Which you can do immediately when you change back. You yeah, beat yeah. The shit out of hers. yeah. Any All man right. can beat Ronda Rousey. Any woman who wakes up tomorrow as a man, the first thing you'd better do for science is go fight Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you know, I, I felt like we didn't really talk enough. Maybe we should right now, just about the whole thing about being a woman turning into a guy. Like, what you can expect. What, what, can, what can your average woman okay. expect when she wakes up as a guy the next day? You know, because we're gender inclusive here. We want to... Yeah. I, um... I think get ready for uh, all the attention. All the all the all all that people giving a shit about you, gone. Oh, yeah. It's gone. Don't 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 expect any person to ever do anything for you ever again. Nobody gives do a fuck about you. Do not try online dating. You're not going to get any results at all. That... That's correct. That's correct. Zero messages, In no matter fact, what. In fact, don't leave the house because the world is a nightmare now. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Every, yeah. Every woman becomes a man for one day, and, like, halfway through it, she's already, like, on all the MRA boards and all the, like, men going their own <laughs> way boards. She's done. Uh, she can't yeah. take it anymore. She hasn't, Although, she hasn't had the years of training that we have to get to this point alive. Be excited, women. When you go to work as a man, you'll get an automatic 30% raise. I was so going to say that. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 23, 23 cents on the dollar. Bam. In your pocket. Day one. They're like, oh, my God. We've made a huge mistake. We didn't realize you were a man all <laughs> didn't along. Didn't realize you had a dick. Here's the extra cash. <laughs> That's how it works, folks. It's just that easy. <laughs> um that's that's why I really feel for the the the, the transitioning community from uh, from male to female. Just when they, you know, it's 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 they tough can't enough. They the surgery now. It's it's tough <laughs> enough, you know, just going through the process of all that. But then when they just walk into work one day and they're like, "My pay, oh no, twenty seventy seven cents of the dollar." You know, that's it that <laughs> yeah. sucks. They're sorry, sorry, dude. That's corporate policy. What can we do? That's just how it works. That's just how it works. Here's some Obama benefits. Obama wanted it. Mm-hmm. Here's some benefits. Going pee. It's going to be kind of fun now. You don't have to yep. get your butt on that dirty toilet seat. You can, yeah, you can like, fucking... There, sometimes in, a like, a restaurant or a bar, they'll put a little fly sticker in the urinal, so you can try to aim at that, and that's kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, sometimes oh, you get to go off pee... is easier now. Yeah. You, you yeah. Get, you get to go pee in a trough sometimes with, like, all that's your buddies. Terrible. Put your arms around each other and, like, sing yeah. songs while you do it and sway back and forth. Uh, oh, that's fun. That's I fun. don't know if that's a positive. You get, the hold each, you get to hold each other's dicks. You know, that's 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 what we do at the old trough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you jerk off in the shower, you can, like, uh, see how, how far you can shoot your cum in the market with a Sharpie and see if you can beat your last record. <laughs> the projectile cum thing, yeah, that's that's a big one. Yep. That's a big one. Um, what else we got? What other benefits are there to being a man in, in ooh, American ooh. society today other than having a dick? I, I, this is a big one. This is a big one. You can be fat and Nate won't hate you intensely immediately. <laughs> you know, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, but no, no joke, though. Like fat women, it's they have it way worse than fat men. And that is yeah, kind of shitty. Sure. Though, you know, on, on the one hand, like, that's kind of true, but, but like, women, st- okay, like, well, what does it matter if you're an un- if you're an unattractive woman? Because, well, okay, I mean, it does to some degree, because it's all about, uh, you know, like, whatever, being attractive or whatever. Uh, so, like, you want to you wanna fuck somebody, right? You want you want to catch yourself a high-quality man, but there are tons of men who will still fuck you, even if you're fat. Yeah. But if you're a fat guy, I would say that it's harder. Well, wait I would a say minute. That it's there's, there's tons of fat guys who have, who have hot... Female wives. There's Peter exactly. Griffin. Yeah. There's Homer Simpson. You know, there, there's, uh, there's lots of guys. Uh, King like of that. Queens. Uh, yeah, don't forget King of um, Queens. <laughs> hmm. You the know, greatest that, man true. who ever lived, King of yeah. Queens. Kevin you know, James. I don't know what you his know name what it was is? in the show. You know what it really is? It's that women are, because men are visual creatures, like our appreciation of women has more to do with their physicality than a woman's attraction to a man, which is more about personality and confidence and yeah. shit. Yeah, so, we're all shallow. Yeah, you know, I guess in that way. Yeah, you can be. If you're a woman, you can you can be fat now, and it won't be as big a deal. That's yeah, true. That's true. What the fuck else you got? Uh, oh, you will be expected. Here's a here's a negative. You will be expected to carry shit for people who are smaller than you, yeah. or or all women, or all women. You'll be expected to carry their shit now. If uh, or, or or hold doors, you know. I mean, that's less that's less prevalent these days. Um, oh my god, you will now have to deal with the nightmare of feminism in general hating you. <laughs> hating you in every way so that's that's that sucks that's you can be, be elected president no matter what you say oh, yeah. over a woman <laughs> you can you can grab pussy freely now you know <laughs> yeah. you, you are it's the door carte blanche for grabbing pussy as we've learned 
I think that's about it. I can't think of any other benefits of being a man. Yeah, me neither, dude. I, oh, 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 you can have sex without personally getting pregnant. So that's that's a nice one. You don't yeah. have to worry about that at all anymore. You might still get STDs, but uh, you will not be the one who gets knocked up for months or have to deal with the whole <laughs> You will be thing. the one who knocks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yeah, I think that's it. I, I think that's it. Oh, wait, I forgot the most important one. You can now become a Catholic priest. That's checkbox. Oh, Got shit. That one. You can now be in God's in God's corner. That's a good shots one. fired. Nate versus the Catholic Church. Look out! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Oh wait! Oh, you can now move to Saudi Arabia and drive. You can now drive in Saudi Arabia. I forgot about that. You can now move oh, to Saudi Arabia and not wear a fucking scarf on your yep. head mm-hmm. in the well, desert I mean, heat. That's a. <laughs> I mean, we're 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 down with the hijab now. That's a feminist icon thing now. So <laughs> it is. Yeah. Why? It's Why very, the fuck? It's, it's very confusing. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you know, I, I think that's YouTube it. YouTube is lucky that they banned me from uploading on my main account for two weeks because I got this uh, uh, monkeys mm-hmm. declassified Sharia law survival guide video yeah. cooking up, and I'm gonna I'm take the internet by it. storm. Uh, here, here's hoping for uh, 10 billion views uh, and 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 a glorious new caliphate in the West. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Uh, all right, let's go to the questions already. Let's uh, let me let me do the search thing. Okay, hashtag as PCP. By the way, you guys can feel free to do this as well if you want. I know Monkey does sometimes. Yeah, you tagged me in the tweet, so now I'm getting all these notifications. So thanks for oh, that. Oh, good. You're anytime, dude. Okay, here's a question dude. from uh, Shade. I don't know if you guys mm-hmm. have ever heard of this guy. No, nope. little known guy. He wants to know why does Jess hate spiders so much? Oh, Jess. wasn't I tweeting about this this morning or something? That's probably why he's asking. Oh, these people <laughs> are so fucking unoriginal and reactionary, you know. Just because that was I've... shade. Who <laughs> fuck shade? <laughs> that's Dingy's little brother. Shade like Dingy's uh, MC Shadu. Yeah, that's that's MC Shady. This must be a different shade. Um. Oh. How uh, many shades are there? I don't know. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, you could say. Um, I Come hate on, Jess, spiders don't keep me because wait. spiders yeah. are fucking ugly. They're mm-hmm. monstrous. They're hideous. They're gay. They're cretins. They're scum. Uh, they have no fucking backbones, literally and figuratively. Mm-hmm. Um, they're weak. Um, and you know, people <laughs> say they're not dangerous, but that doesn't mean they're not evil. If if you know, <laughs> you take the smallest, most harmless spider. If it were bigger, if it were big enough to eat you, it would. So you know, spiders are evil and they're ugly. They've got too many eyes and too many legs. They've got tiny <laughs> little hairs, and they they crawl on you. They get on you. They get in your hair. They spin webs. The webs are gross. Um, and do I really even need to justify this? Uh, fuck spiders. No. Um, you know what? E- even Ronda Rousey could beat a spider. That's how much I don't respect <laughs> spiders. All right, people, uh, people always make the case that, like, yeah, but spiders eat other bugs. They eat mosquitoes, and they eat flies, and they eat other shit. Uh, I'll just kill them myself. Yeah. I'll just kill them myself. <laughs> yeah, so. what, what kind of defense is that? They're worse than the things they eat. I would rather yeah. have a mosquito on me than a spider. You know what? Uh, mm, that's actually a tough one, because I... I hate mosquitoes so much i i hate them more than spiders for sure i want every mosquito in the fucking world destroyed they are they are going to kill us one day mosquitoes are going to be the downfall of humanity because they're gonna they're gonna suck blood out of some some fucking aids super aids boys they're gonna transport it all over the fucking world i don't care if they revive the dinosaurs in jurassic park i don't care that's not good enough that's the only thing that a mosquito has ever done that was even a slight positive they're they're evil i fucking hate mosquitoes so I'm on Team Spider, I guess. <laughs> okay, I mosquitoes. <laughs> I just I, I respect mosquitoes a little bit more because when a mosquito lands on you, like, yeah, it's annoying, but you mm-hmm. only have to feel it landing on you. When a spider lands on you, you have to feel every leg crawling up you slowly. Oh, God. Like it's just it's just touching you a thousand times, as opposed to a mosquito, which touches you once. I mean I'll uh, say uh, that's true. Touching a spider web is worse than touching any of these things. I'd rather fucking die than walk through the forest and get a big spider web in my face and if there's bugs in there then you're even more fucked. Well the the only reason that I get freaked out by that because of the is because of the presence of the bugs in the spider web. No. Uh, but I, I guess that's kind of your point. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty shit. Like I freak out cuz I I'm like assume there's a spider on me now. So really the problem is the spider. Yeah. Uh, spider webs I just think cool. the spider, the, the web itself feels all silky and gross and sticky on your face. And I just, I just wanted to walk through the woods and, and peek on this bathhouse over there. And now I got to worry about this shit. 
And you know, all the spider fags are always like, oh, uh, spider silk is a thousand times stronger than steel. Then how come I destroy it effortlessly with every fucking swipe? <laughs> <On> Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate, yeah, motherfuckers. Fuck, there you fuck, go. fuck all, fuck all spiders. Fuck that slut, Charlotte. Fuck that, yeah. that <laughs> fucking, fuck that French bitch in James and the Giant Peach. I don't even yeah, care. Yeah. If I she's, would. She's I don't hot. care how sexy her <laughs> face is. The rest of her is an abomination. Yo, you I know who's <laughs> hot? Rock Nera from Monster Musume. She's the best girl. She's fucking. I would sex. The only woman. good she's... spider is Spider Man, and the good part of him ain't the spider part. It's the man <laughs> part. It's the man. The, the, the muscles man and the, the dong. <laughs> spider dong. No, it's all, all right. right uh, Jesse, another hey, question. Yeah, I got another question for you. I'm glad okay, you two okay. are here because you two are the the PCP experts on this subject. Mm. Mark Morella wants to know what is the bare minimum age to count as sex with the young? The minimum age. It's yeah. not a. It's not a. It's not an age. There is man. no minimum. It's a. It's a state of mind. <laughs> That's true. Like <laughs> okay. when you got when you got your choice ass, you know, forty five year old milf. If you got her dressed up in her baby bib and her diaper, that my friend is yeah. some is some that, old that school is the, sex with the young. That right is there. the official. Um, um, fucking the the non-incriminating stance. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's all in the mind. <laughs> just like I, just like I, just like my hero, an older person who is retarded. Does that count? Yeah, that'll count. You yeah, know, if they, the if they act like a baby, if they look like yeah, a baby, super. and they act like a baby, and they smell like a baby, then it's sex with the young. <laughs> just like yeah. my hero, Chop Chop Master Onion said. Uh, yeah, sex with the young. It's all in the mind. <laughs> What a hero. He's my hero. Uh, <laughs> I've got a question here um, from a- a Theo at Pterodactyl says, should entertainers bring their girlfriends along for the ride? No. Well, what do you guys, what do you guys no. think about Absolutely this? Absolutely no? not. And that might seem hypocritical coming from me, but here's the thing. I gave her her own channel. And I only put her on my channel when I need a woman and she's the, like the closest one near me. I'm not bringing her along for any ride. I'm giving her her own platform on Sheepover. Go check it out. going to yeah. post a link down in the comments. Mm-hmm. Hey, stuff. all I'm saying is you, you ain't going to give your girlfriend a ride. I'll give her a ride. I'll give her a ride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying, baby. my dude? <laughs> now, um, yeah, I, I pretty much think uh, that's totally appropriate. Yeah, if you're if you're already doing something and you're just trying to like, like the whole Yoko Ono situation is like the classic one. You don't just insert your bitch into like the thing that's already going on. If you no, want to no. make something the new like what ben's doing with his new channel with his girlfriend that's a-okay that's perfect that's exactly the right thing to do if you if you got two creative people and they want to be doing stuff just yeah just don't fuck up the shit that's already there that's i will the only I'll, time I'll defend my use of 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 girls in my videos thusly mm-hmm. sometimes i need to go outside and i need a cameraman i need someone to film me that's the first yeah. reason and the I, second you know, thing I, is yeah. that when i do like stuff like my panel cast you know uh, uh, the, the, my, my girl is a, she knows about comics, so I, at least she I sure keep does. her where she belongs on a thing that is in her field. You know, I, I assumed that she was not going to be any kind of expert when you first started the panel cast and said she was going to be on. I was like, oh boy, here we go. But then she was like more knowledgeable than you in some ways. Yeah. And, uh, that was, yeah, she's a, she's she, a solid she's, asset. She's reasonably vital to that endeavor. And I was just going to clarify, the only mm-hmm. time you're going to see a girlfriend on my main monkey channel is when I need a woman to be used as a prop. That's all she is to me, <laughs> is a fucking prop. Excellent, excellent. And, you know, uh, uh, to what Jesse was saying, uh, yeah, like, uh, I hate that I have to make all my shit by myself, like, because I always want to do live action stuff, and it's really fucking annoying. And I've yeah. adapted, so it's not a big deal now. But, like... Uh, God, I would fucking love to do more live action shit. Like you, like your fucking Zelda video, Jesse, which I assume you filled with with Floozy all over the place. Yeah. It was great. It was uh, yeah. it was awesome. If and, I had a, if I had a person around to do that with, I totally also, would. And also, goddamn, are our let's plays just a whole lot easier to make when you've got someone to bounce off of and conversate yeah. with? You know what? In fact, I take back my whole stance. You should always have uh, a second person oh, in your boy. videos. Oh. Put all your girlfriends, all your boyfriends, all your friends in there. Put your whole family in your videos. Make a whole a whole production out of it. That's how you get the real good content. That's how you get the YouTube success and the YouTube bucks. You got to have a pe- bunch of people working for you, for nothing, for peanuts. Yeah, you trick hey, you them know. into it with relationships. That's what you. That's yeah, what all relationship that's right, is for. That's right. You seduce someone into helping you work. There you I go. Mean, the main we- issue people have is when, I, like with the Beatles, you get your girlfriend in there, and then, like Nate was saying, they completely change the content. Like, for example, well, with, yeah, with yeah, AVGN, yeah. he got his, his wife involved as a producer on the movie, and then the movie yeah, ends with, yeah. like, the other guy getting the girl for no reason. Yeah. yeah it sh- it should have been fucking James, right? Why the fuck didn't he 
fuck that bitch. Yeah, the girls didn't even God. talk to the black guy the whole movie, and then they're kissing well, okay, at the end. The, the, the movie should not have had the girl or the black guy at all. They were totally yeah, worthless well, that's, characters. That's a given. <laughs> I did not see it. But, I, I mean, <clears throat> you know, for all we know, I mean, I don't know shit about these guys or about the production of the movie, but, like, from what I've heard, it sounds like, like like Monkey was saying, the the wifey here, she had some input. She had some, like, yeah. she, she made some changes along the way. And who the fuck knows exactly how drastic those were, what they were at some point. Yeah, you really, if you're a creator, <clears throat> do not let, and it's kind of inevitable, because, like, whatever people you hang around are going to change the way you think. Like, your your friends, to some degree, define how you think and like That's what do you think is acceptable? That's why we're all so angry all the time. We That's all right. Just talk That's to right. PCP guys all day. <laughs> oh, it's the fucking so worst. It's the if, best. You, like, if, if you're just like some dude from the Midwest or whatever, and you move to California, like you're gonna adopt that mindset over some. It's gonna happen. Like like Tim Heidecker, I think is kind of an example of that. Oh, he's, that he's just getting more and more. You know, he moved moved to Hollywood, and he's just getting more and more. You know, liberal, and yeah, I don't, I don't really begrudge him. I disagree with him on some of his points, but you know, that's fine. But you can see his mind changing. You can see those changes happening. And uh, like the the thing with Yoko was like, it, she actually wasn't really, as far as I know, I, I'm no expert on this, but I, she wasn't like forced into like the Beatles or anything. It's not like Lennon was trying to bring her in to like change the Beatles, but what she definitely did was change John himself. And so like he. And, like, it's it's hard to say, like, what, what are you going to do? Like, tell your friend <laughs> she, to, like, break she, up with his girlfriend? She changed him from a serial wife beater into a guy who respected his spouse. What a fucking bitch. How could she that was, do that? That's, that was a big problem. Hey, if it ruins the music, then it's a terrible thing on the face of mankind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't, can't disagree with you there. But, you know, Yoko Ono makes some good stuff, dude. I loved her uh, her latest album, which I believe was called, like, Do you ever listen to her perform live? She's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, it, it really grinds my gears, um, you know, when it's just really gratuitous and transparent how, like, guys will be like, oh, I'm, this is my show, and here's my girlfriend now, and it's like, it's almost like they're using her as, like, like a sports car or a trophy to, like, show Dude, off. Dude, not to. I can have sex yeah, with yeah. girls. <laughs> I've not got a hot I mean... girl. You know, uh, to some degree, there's always going to be a little bit of bullshit. Like, if, if you get a girlfriend and for whatever reason you're talking about something where it's relevant, and you, uh, even when you do that little mention because it's pertinent to what you're talking about, there's going to be some people who are like, oh, here we go. He's shoving in the whole girlfriend thing. Yeah, yeah. I but guess to some, that's the, to some uh, degree, it's unavoidable. That's the, that's the takeaway. Just keep it relevant. Don't yeah. uh, don't be gratuitous and transparent and gay with it. Don't be gay in general. If you've got, you know, nobody wants to be that couple. Just don't do it. You know, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, did you guys ever see, uh, probably not, <laughs> fucking uh, Jeff's videos where he started having his girlfriend uh, wear his <sighs> merch and shit? I'm just saying, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I, he was he was playing it off as a joke, but but still. <laughs> I've, but never, still. I've never watched a Jeff video ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you gotta I, take okay. the monkey approach. Only put your girlfriend in the video if the whole joke is that you're abusing her and that she's too stupid to think of groceries. That, that really is, like, the funny way to go. Like, n nobody is la If you're a comedy boy, nobody's laughing if you're showing off your girlfriend just, like, just showing her off. Like, that's yeah. not funny, and people are be like, what the fuck, you're wasting my time bragging about the shit. So, yeah, you got to make it funny like Mumkey did, which was great. The the, the wife abuse thing was, was wonderful. Um, okay, here's here's another question. At uh, Greg Barry Ant asks, uh, how do you keep yourselves motivated enough to work for more than a few hours without taking a break? I constantly get distracted. And I have a I this is a question that so so it, it's really funny to me this question like motivation questions when I was young I had such a hard time focusing and um, I was never able to like concentrate very long on anything and even when I was in college and like I was starting to do things that I sort of liked which was game design um, like even then I found it agonizing to like force myself to like oh fuck okay I'll try to do like uh, a puzzle design today or whatever or like program this thing. So, like, things were getting a little better. But what I found is, like, I didn't level up or, or increase my skill at this at all. The only thing I ever did to get better at this was just find things that I inherently liked doing. It was, I basically cheated the system. I just kept looking around until I just found out, like, you know what? I fucking love making videos. Uh, and, like, during the TBAP days, when me and Ben would just, like, bust one out every week, and they were pretty fucking great, like, it was so easy to just do that because I really wanted to do it. So unfortunately, I don't have any practical advice for this, but I would say just find something that you actually like doing. And maybe it's just a, 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 like a variation on what you're trying to do now. That's all I got. Maybe you guys have some more useful answers to this. How do you what stay motivated? What was the question? I wasn't 
paying attention. It was, it was though. basically like, how do you stay motivated uh, without fucking getting distracted or taking a break? Oh, shit. I'm the wrong yeah. fucking guy to answer that one. Uh, I, yeah. I think what helps me is that I am a bit of a fame whore, and I the whole time I'm thinking, oh, man, if I put this up, it's going to get seen by at least mm, 5,000 mm. people, baby. Got to get this sucker out. So, but if yeah. you're like an up-and-comer and you have no audience, I can imagine it's very hard to be motivated to work because you feel yeah. like you're doing all this work for literally nobody because nobody's watching. So yeah, when, yeah. If, if that's this guy's case, which I don't know who he is, if that's your case, I can't help you. I have no idea what you well, can do. Well, you know, uh, I think... It makes keep your eye on the prize is what you're saying, right? You just 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 imagine even if you're not like immediately getting. I guess what you're, you're talking about like instant gratification, where like you put it up, right. bam, five thousand people see it, feels good. You get yeah. those responses, get those upvotes, it's nice. Like you get you're, those you're, downvotes you're if you're doing a podcast with Sai, <laughs> which feels <laughs> exactly. better than an upvote because that means it's not that they're supporting me with a little click; it's that they're going against Sai with a click, which feels much. You better. know what? I, you know what I would say? I would just say like. You just gotta value what you're doing. Like when I when I started like my current channel, best guy ever. Like the the Gurren Lagann videos, like literally six months each to make them. Or no, the first one was three months. Second one was six months. Holy and like shit. at the time, at the time they got like way fewer views than they deserve. And now that I'm like growing a little bit, they're starting to get more views. They're like basically a hundred thousand views, which is like a healthy amount of views for like a, a lifetime video. So I'm I'm more happy with that. Yeah. But at the time, like. Well, what kept me going at the time was just how much I needed to complete this project. The project itself is what made me want to keep going. And I felt there was an inherent value, a, a, a need that was served by me creating this thing. And I feel like it did that. And I feel like that's why people like it. So like at, at later on, you can just do it for the for the views and for the clicks. But at the very beginning, at least, you have to have some sort of artistic vision. Uh, which which I would recommend going for something like that. I don't know. That's worked for me. Well, but know, I'm sorry. I totally cut Jesse I, uh, off. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I never really feel like unmotivated. I think uh, mm -hmm. in terms of motivation, I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to do what I want to do because that's I'm cool and that's what I mm -hmm. do. But I definitely do get distracted a lot. Um, um, I always am working on like a like a dozen things at once. I've always got a bunch of mm -hmm. Vegas windows open, and, and there's always like like a, like a a new episode of a show that I want to watch or like a, a podcast. Right. And, and then you once you start watching something, you fall into a hole, and you start watching. You know, you just fall into like a YouTube hole, or like mm -hmm. you lay down on the couch. Once what, once you're on the couch, it's fucking over. The day is it's is over. Done. <laughs> yeah, um, <for> sure. <laughs> that's a trap. So um, <laughs> you know, it's it's hard to stay focused sometimes. So uh, a couple months ago, I tried Adderall for the first time. Oh, oh yeah, oh hell yeah. yeah, that so, worked um, out. Yeah, like, and I was sold it like, oh, this is a, this is a, is a, is a drug. It's not for you. It's illegal that I'm selling you this. It's you know you should be taking this, but it will make you like super focused and super you know into your work. And I'm like, yep. okay, I'll take it. And I took one, and like it definitely worked. But like the thing is, mm -hmm. it didn't feel like I've achieved like a. A different state it felt like maybe i'm supposed to be on adderall maybe this is how i'm yeah, supposed yeah. to be working so that's I've my that advice is just take adderall, take adderall. <laughs> yeah you know i mean I'm... nate you're laughing but i i back up that recommendation i took adderall once in high school and mm. i was in pre-calc and i couldn't figure out this fucking pre-calc shit I took one Adderall and I taught myself that that whole chapter in less than twenty minutes. Yeah. Is that true? Is that actually I, true? I could I could feel like my brain was a, a fucking locomotive. I could feel the engine of the train revving in my brain. I could physically feel it. No, and it, dude, it, it, okay, it felt I, great. I, I laugh just because it's funny, but no, I'm actually I'm totally on board for any of these kind of like like treating the human body as like an engineering problem to be solved with like fixes or drugs or like yeah man but you, yeah, you, you start like you start speed forcing and burst linking you can like <laughs> you can do anything when you're on adult <laughs> it's a miracle drug you know we've done I, we've done so many episodes of this show like giving advice mm -hmm. to up and coming like. Mm -hmm. aspiring creators who look up to us but all our yep, advice yep. was wrong the only advice that matters if you take anything from this podcast just take adderall yeah <laughs> uh the only reason i don't wholeheartedly agree is because uh because i'm a, I'm, I'm engineering focused if the adderall perhaps introduces other issues for example just one that's possible is if taking adderall gives you this high of of, of ability to create stuff then there will follow of course a subsequent low where you're off of it and will that make you like unable to function without it at that point or like yeah i know, I know I'm, I'm not being fun i'm being serious right yeah. now but like um 
Well, luckily yeah, you know, I didn't take it enough to get addicted. Yeah, luckily if, if I'm so... If it's possible to just be on... If it's possible I'm to so just take poor, Adderall... I can only afford, like, two pills a month, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. If, if it's possible to, like, for everyone to be on Adderall all the time, and literally all it does is make everyone better at everything, then I would be 100% on board. But, um, yeah, just gotta watch out for those consequences, that's all. Yeah. That's all. Well, I mean, like, I every time I write a script or record a Let's Play, I'm drinking. Am I going to be dependent on drinking? Probably. But Maybe. do I care? No. I well, don't care. I mean, if you don't care, that's fine. <laughs> I'll just keep drinking. I mean, Rolling Rock, I, I got it because I was like, oh, AVGN, he's AVGN, pretty funny. Yeah. Maybe this mm-hmm. is magic funny juice. <laughs> and it actually take it tastes exactly like water, but has mm-hmm. all the benefits mm-hmm. of alcohol. So I, I really, I endorse Rolling Rock. If you can't afford Adderall, go get some Rolling Rock. It's great. Nah, and if you can some... afford them both, then yes, definitely mix them. Mix as much. <laughs> mi- mi- mix just grab as... everything from, just, the, just... From, from Daddy's medicine yeah. cabinet. Just, Throw it all in a big just, tincture. Just mix, and mix depressants and narcotics together all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't die. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you're going to die, at least pledge to our Patreons before you do. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. Just be responsible with your money. Yeah. <laughs> Invest in your future. <laughs> um. All right. So there you go. That's that's that. Is there any other decent questions here? Let me see. Mm, oh my God. Here's one. Okay. This is actually very personal to me. Uh, at Mozilla Fennekin. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, asks. So, uh, what are good ingredients to put in oatmeal? Oh, I'm shit. trying to become more of a healthy boy, dude. I eat oatmeal every breakfast of my fucking life. I am a fucking oatmeal expert. And I know exactly what you need to put in your oatmeal to make it delicious. Okay, here's what I'm doing right now. I'm so I'm so ha- I'm so excited. He asked this question. Yes, I'm all about oatmeal. Okay, you get yourself a big bowl of uh, you get you get the big thing from from Quaker Oats, the old fashioned oats. You, you pour a fucking cup into a bowl, and uh, here's what you do. You put frozen strawberries from the grocery store. You just pour a whole like a fucking fuckload of those in there you cover that thing you want you want to have a lot because it's going to be this, the, the taste is dependent on those you just cover that thing with water you, you, you pour the strawberries pour water it doesn't matter how much just put a bunch experiment so you get the right amount maybe do a cup or whatever the strawberries have water in them already and then you just microwave that you do that for two minutes you stir it up you put it back in and do another two minutes and then bam you got perfect oatmeal now if you are a weak boy what you can do is you can just put some sugar in i would recommend like one tablespoon of sugar that might be a little bit too much but something like that. And then you just mix it up, and bam, that's immediately delicious and perfect. If you want to be an even more of a madman, what you can do is you can put brown sugar in and butter. You could just put brown sugar and butter if you don't care about, like, it's going to be more fatty this way, more more calories and shit. Brown sugar, butter, do all the same steps. Just don't put in the strawberries. Or you can put the strawberries if you fucking want to, I guess. That, that'd be fine, too. Bam. There you go. That's perfect. That's all you need to know, folks. That is the, that's the best way to eat oatmeal. I do it every single day of my goddamn life, the strawberry one. And, um... There you go. There's your solution. There you go. All right, we're done. Uh, do you guys have any oatmeal suggestions? No. <laughs> um, the kind with the little dinosaur eggs in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really... F- fuck what I said. Just get the dinosaur eggs. Uh, okay, uh, we're done. Uh, no more good questions. Oh, thank uh, God. questions. Yeah. Everyone's I gotta garbage piss out all this rolling rock I've been drinking the whole time. Wait, what we... What is this? No, this is a shitty question. No, f- okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask this last question. Uh, at... Just because ah! at art mark eighty eight asks about the Wonder Woman film, do you think the Ares reveal should have been an end credit scene? No, it shouldn't have been in it Why? at all. Yeah, it was terrible. Well, yeah, it, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, we already talked about this in the last episode, didn't we? Did we? Did we talk about this? Fuck it. I don't. I don't know. Okay, fuck that. I don't know why I felt like answering that. All right, forget it. Abort. Abort. Question. Uh, mark, you're dead to me. Okay, here we go. We're all done. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, make sure you send us more questions or, you know, follow or fucking uh, do the thing at uh, TP Crastinators on Twitter and use hashtag AskPCP to get your questions answered here. And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course, which you're probably already watching. And pledge to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash theprocrastinators to get all the fucking bonus episodes. You get into I think there's the three secret now. patron discord where, like, everybody, all the PCP guys are in there. And, like, even just today, Jess was offering to beat up people's dads. If you want That's your right. dad beat up, <laughs> yeah, possibly yeah. from Discord, throw in a buck or two. Those people, they contributed to the podcast. And if your dad is Ronda Rousey, shit. you get in the Discord free because I really, <laughs> I really want to crack at that dad. If your dad is Ronda Rousey. So if Ronda Rousey wants <laughs> to be in the Discord, said, she's in for free. All right, Ronda, you're in, buddy. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.
Two.